This is not your average prayer group. We're making our voices heard and, and our right to be heard as women who want to pray. Meet Women of the Wall, a group that says they're on a mission to fight for women's rights to pray out loud with tefillin and Torah scrolls at the holy site, though others see them as controversial. There are certain um, mitzvot or, or commandments that women are not obligated to, um, to do, but we don't think that means that they're not allowed to. So those who take it upon themselves may do so, but the Orthodox see it differently. They think that we're not allowed to and we're breaking kind of the Jewish law. At the wall, it's a struggle and we're the ones leading that struggle. The situation is sparking fierce opposition from more conservative streams of Judaism, who make up the majority of the worshipers. <laughs> This woman says she was stopped at security, which took away her Torah scroll. She says she was told she wasn't allowed to bring it inside without getting permission in advance, something she says she would have never received. I felt very uh, uncomfortable and violated for uh, being um, stopped and being searched like that. The service still goes on, though not uninterrupted. I-24 News caught on camera the the group being harassed by others at the site, with some watching unsympathetically, including this group of girls who shout as prayers are taking place. But that's today. On other days, this area has become even more tense, with Women of the Wall members coming face to face with physical violence. But what's the heart of this conflict, which at times looks like a religious war? The Israeli Orthodox Jewish religious establishment is against women of the walls services. I-24 News spoke with Rabbi Dov Halbertal. They shouldn't be allowed to do it. What's being done is extreme. It's outside the framework of Judaism. Rabbi Dov Halbertal says that he sees women of the wall as associated with Reform Judaism, a branch of the religion which Orthodox Jews regard as deviating from the tenets of the religion. Orthodox Jewish law forbids women from putting on phylacteries or tefillin, leading prayer services, and also leading Torah reading during services. These activities, particularly at the Western Wall, Judaism's holiest existing prayer site, especially infuriate Orthodox Jews. It's an invention, a new religion. The government is also mulling legislation. Though it is currently frozen, a bill that was put forward by Israel's religious Shas party banned ceremonies that involved taking out a Torah scroll and reading from it, or wearing to fill in in the women's section, two key activities of women of the wall. With the bill stipulating that those who violated it could face six months in prison or heavy fines. That bill was, was on the books for many years. They just wanted to um, update it to include sections that women of the world would be basically outlawed. It's a bill that even Orthodox rabbis have spoken out against. I'm very against it. I am in general against giving more power to the religious and ultra-Orthodox parties. But the struggle of women of the wall goes outside of the main area of the Western Wall itself to the fight for the egalitarian prayer section, with an agreement to renovate and formalize the mixed-gender prayer space long frozen. It is upsetting because it could be a good solution. We'd have our space, they'd have their space, and we wouldn't have to be um, in this conflict every single month. Women of the Wall are concerned over an escalation in violence. Eventually there will be bloodshed unless something changes. In the meantime, the situation is continuing with no solution in sight. Ah!